Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Mario 64, this is episode 2. In the last episode, we made our way through Bobon Battlefield, did a couple of, uh, a couple of secret star things in Peach's, you know, in Peach's drawers. <laughs> and we found out that 8 stars isn't enough to get the sun going, for some reason, I don't understand, I really thought it should have been enough. Uh, select the stars you've recovered from them, okay. Never mind, I'm sorry if I skipped through a bit quick. <laughs> sort of speeding through a bit. Okay, anyway, World 2, Womp's Fortress. We should be able to do all of this in one sitting, so all today. Chip off Womp's block. Yeah. Hello, the Lakito Bros cutting in with a live update on Mario's progress. He's about to learn a technique for sneaking up on enemies. The trick is this. He has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. And wrapping up filming techniques reported on earlier, you can take a look around by tilting the right stick pulled back to view action from a distance. I always like to keep it pulled back a bit. Like that. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that would work or not. Like later on, you have to fight a couple of them. Uh, Prana plants. But, no, not so. Not right now. <laughs> Come on. We're going for the 100 coins first, by the way. When you get the 100 coin star, uh, you don't need to leave the world in order to come back in and go for another star like you do with normal stars. You just carry on playing. So that is amazing. I don't know which star... Oh, Christ. That was <laughs> that could have been a bad start. Uh, I, I don't know which main star we're going to be going for this time. We're not going for anything that involves a green block. It's still translucent, so you can't actually do anything with it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think on top of the... The bumper? Crush? Crush him? Crush? Crush him. <laughs> oh, I need to crush him. Yeah, red coin. I knew it. I knew it. I wonder if we can get to that floating island up there. I'm not very... From by there, I mean. I'm not very good at that sort of thing. Like... Oh, we shouldn't have come up here yet. We should have gone down there first. Um, yeah, I'm not very good at that sort of thing. Uh, like the the sort of flips and stuff that that speedrunners can do. That's what I'm getting at. I'm not. <laughs> right, there we go. It's another one. We can get that red coin now, hopefully, if I can do it right. You ready? Yeah, got it first time. It don't happen very often, that's why I'm so excited when it, <laughs> whenever it actually happens. Ah, get up, get up. It might actually be easier to get all the coins later on, actually. Mm, no, we're okay, the blue coin thing by you. If you're going for the 100 coins, the blue coin blocks are pretty much what you always want to go for, because they always give you a load of coins. It's like the yellow coins give you, you know, one coin each time. The red coins give you two, and the blue coins give you five. And sometimes a few can come out, like quite a few. So that just give us 20 coins so easily. So that's a fifth of the way to the 100 coin challenge. Uh, without really doing much. So it's, it's amazing. And don't worry, I know we've only got 78 coins. And we're actually coming not too far from the top now, the top of the fortress. But don't worry too much about it. These signs... Uh, they tell you to creep along, or one of the signs do, so that you don't wake up the piranha plants. But, I mean, you can wake them up. They, they can't move. They don't shoot fire like some piranha plants in Mario games. It is, you know, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Just wake them up. It'll scare you shitless when you first hear the snapping, the dog, the dog noises. But, yeah... See, they give you plenty of coins. You, you don't need to worry for this 100 coin thing. It's one of the easier ones. You just gotta do it in one life, and I think that's the worst of it. <laughs> Why am I coming up you? Back down. I'm trying to think. Can we actually do the 100 coins? Oh, after saying all this. A couple of coins down by there. We... Mm, not sure. This and the entirety of the stage, because when you come back in the second time, into the stage a second time, you get the chance to... Well, it's been built a bit more. And that's because the joke of these enemies around you is that they're paving slabs. <laughs> so, you know, they're being built on. 
I don't want to fight the ninja. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Twat. Oh, I think we'll be able to do it. But we just got to avoid the boss a sec. Okay. Ooh, the camera went funny. That was that was annoying. I'll see you back, back up there if I don't die. I did it! Oh. I did it! <laughs> Got a bit of health back as well. Right, how many coins are we off? Ah, two! Just ready for... Oh, there's quite a few of you anyway. That's alright then. Oh, that took a few tries actually. I was climbing up and trying to jump across. And I only had one little bit of health left. Like, one little bit of red health left. So yeah, there was there was that. That was an issue. So now we need to get right back down to the bottom. Which, to be honest, because we're gonna get the red coin one now while we've got all the red coins, and it's just simpler. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, crap. <laughs> that went a bit different than I expected, but we got there. <laughs> oh. Okay. Red coins on the floating aisle. Like I said before, might not be doing them on all in order. Um, why not? So, what's next? Ah, oh, chip off. Okay, we'll actually do the boss this time. Because there's a couple we can't do yet anyway, because we haven't met the, the bob -omb, Who can open up the cannons and stuff. So it's a couple of those sorts that we can't do quite yet. Now we don't need... Oh. Now, we don't need to... Uh... I can't remember what I now, because I, I died. <laughs> we don't need to worry about collecting coins, because we've already got them all. Don't need to worry about the red coins. Nothing. So, let's just go. Also, in every stage, there's a teleporter. I don't know where they are in every stage. Like this one, I'm not entirely sure. I think I might have a, an inkling. But I don't know for sure. I think it's down where the butterflies were in the flowers, down the bottom. We have like a ring of coins around the flowers. I think it might be down there. But yeah, like I said. Crap. <laughs> Nearly fell off. Round you come, round you come. For some of the longer stages as well, I'm thinking of uh, cutting out like the, the climb. Because it'll be exactly the same every time on some stages. Like this one is short as hell. Womp's Fortress is a nice easy world. At least once, you, once you've experienced the later ones, you know. <laughs> it's easy compared to the later ones. Come here then, you. It makes me so mad. We build your houses and castles. We pave your roads and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have that? Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pound me. Wimp. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Down you come. Just entice him by either standing still or standing in roughly the same place. And I'll make him do that and then just do A then ZL. And just like with Kim, King Babom or Big Babom. It's three times a charm. No, crash again. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I want gravel. Uh, gravel. <laughs> yeah, you win. Take this with you. There we go. Nice and easy. Like I said, there are some tricky stars in this game. Really hard. Like, it'll take me a long time. That's where the magic of editing is going to come in. But, for now, no worries. Next up, we're going to see how the place sort of progressed to the top of the fortress. Yeah, it's going to be even bigger now that the the head uh, cement guy, <laughs> crushing guy, is gone. Uh. Ooh. This part always makes me a little bit nervous. That's ZL and A, by the way. You have to give it a sec before you can press A, though. Because the game it is a bit janky with controls and camera, like I said before. So you just gotta try and try and live with it. <laughs> come on, come on round. You can do it. <laughs> I think he meant to do the eight red coins later on. Like on his actual mission. Cause what we did, we we did like a long jump across. Whereas later on you'll get other things that sort of help you out. Instead of doing the long jump. 
because long jump is risky and the fact that it does the camera change in the middle of the long jump making the controls go the opposite way makes it even worse. So there, yeah, you could have hit this plank. So not, like I was saying then. <laughs> Doesn't have to be in the 8 red coins one, you can do it now. But we did it the hard way. And then, uh, just what I always do. <laughs> come on, why don't you come? And there we go, lift up. See? Not too bad. It's still a bit of practice with the game. By the way, this is World 2. There are 15 proper worlds. You know, a secret other little bits and pieces, but 15 proper worlds. Or courses. Or paintings. <laughs> They're not all paintings, see? So I can't really say paintings, I guess. Number 3. Shoot into the wild blue. Oh, here come the cannon parts. Here we go. Alright. Alright. We can do this. We can do this first time. Can, let me see if I can do something a sec. I think it might be a shortcut. Yeah, that's alright then. <sighs> Cannon buddy, Bobon buddy has just shown up. Yeah, thank you. One of them in every world. I think it's every world. There might be one world where there's not. I'm thinking of the water one specifically. Or one of the water ones. Right. I'll try it once and then I'll cut to when we... When I actually do it, because friggin' hell, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure where I'm aiming for. The draw distance and the best in this game either. Just so you you know. I know I'm complaining a lot about the game, but I do actually really enjoy it. I get frustrated, but I do really enjoy it. I think about Bade will do it. Yeah. <gasps> oh I had it! Oh, that's annoying. Because we're right by it, we'll try it again. Because normally when I miss, I miss completely and I end up falling and dying. But, you know, we're right by it. Let's try it again. Where were we to? Try it. Yeah! Whack your head, Mario. Right. This is why he sounds so simple all the time. He keeps whacking his head against things. Blocks and <laughs> everything. <laughs> Shoot to the wild. Good, we got it. Oh, there is another cannon one. I think we might as well do it now. Fall onto the caged island. Fall onto. Yeah, I know what that is, and that's that's the worst one of the of this this area. But like I said, we're doing a different one for now. It will be the next one, technically. Cannon. Might as well carry on with it. All right. So, we need to go through that corner. The corner of the wall. And it should be where the star is. Yeah, got it. First time. Is the star still up there, though? I think it might be. So, we need to do it one more time. Right. There it is. This is hard. This is such a small sort of thing to go for. Yes! Oh my god! I never do that first time! That's insane! <laughs> Blast away the wall. That's so... vague. Like, there's nothing on that wall that screams to me, there's a star on you. You know, there's no X on it, there's no... It's weird. It's a weird one. Anyway, for this one, this is leaving the worst to last for the area. Come on, Mr. Owl. Straight out of Ocarina of Time. Who's there? Who woke me up? <laughs> it's still daylight. I should be sleeping. As long as I'm awake, why not take a short flight with me? Press hold B or A to grab on. Release B or A to let go. I'll take you wherever you want to go, as long as my wings hold out. Watch my shadow. Grab on. Alright. Right. Do you see the caged island then? It's hard. I hate it so much because you don't do it dead on. You don't do it dead on. You do it like... Oh, I forgot to turn him. I thought it was automatic. It's not. Right, here we go. <laughs> okay, this might take a few tries. Let me get some health back. Alright. Come on. Down yet. I forgot where it was. <laughs> oh, this is going well. To be fair, it ain't going too badly. We just gotta wait now for him to come back down. There he is. I don't think we'll actually have to go up in the tree to make that happen, by the way. I just did. I don't know why. Do-do-do-do-do. Right, here we go. You ready? You ready? 
Oh, so close. Because I bet stomped, I didn't get hurt. That's how that works. Right, now I'm going to cut to where I actually get it. Because it might, it might take a while. Oh, I did it! It was actually the time after I said I was going to... I was going to sort off and try on my own. That went well. Fall onto Cage Island. Well, I say well, better than I thought it would. So that's Bombs Fortress done. If you have a look on Plus menu, Pause menu, six stars and the one for the 100 coins. So, yeah, there you go. Next step, I'm hoping it shows up now. Okay, well, back in the main lobby. I should do now. Yeah, the light's here. So if we look up where it's coming from, this is tough. I hate this one. Welcome to the ring cap course. Step on the red switch at the top of the tower in the centre of the rainbow ring. When you trigger the switch, all the red blocks you find will become solid. That means in every other world and things like that. Try out the wing cap. Do the triple jump to take off and press ZL to land. You can do a triple jump for the wing cap by standing still, by the way. You don't have to be moving like you normally do. Pull back on that to go up and tilt forward. It's like an aeroplane, yeah. yeah. So let's do it first. Here we go. And it'll let you save, because... That's, that's a big moment. There are three of those switches in the entire castle. Let's grab this, because it runs out of time. Now we need to get the star, which is... Oh. I think we'll have to start again to actually get going. Because we won't have time now for, th for a start. So I am going to die. I could have just exit course. That would have been, you know. But we didn't lose a life anyway. So it's alright. So, what we need to do is go down. We'll have just enough time to go down following the coins. <sighs> yeah. Oh, shit, I missed one. We're not going to have time now. And it's so high up as well. I might be able to figure out a way of doing this. You never know. Once the wings start flickering, you know you've got to get the land. Doing okay. I mean, they're not flickering. We're not doing okay. We're doing pretty shit. Oh no! 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 There we go. We made it. And the last two coins are quite low down, so maybe we'll be able to do this now. It's hard controls. It, it really is. Like, I am not a fan. If we go down and then back up, it makes it go a little bit higher. But it's just judging it, you know? We'll have to try again. We were pretty close, actually. I might as well just restart and try it again from the start, because it'll be a lot easier. Have we got it? Have we got it? Ugh, no! You know what? I'm going to give this a million tries until I actually get it done. I think we got it. Unless I unless the wings sort of run out before I get back. Yes! Oh This has gone so much easier than I thought it would. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> and now the the sunlight has gone from the lobby, which would have got annoying if it stuck around. Last thing I want to do today, we're going back to Bob Omb Battlefield to do the hundred coins and get the last star. Just to wrap it all up, I think. I owe wings to the sky. Yeah, the flying is the worst in this game. Right, so yeah, like I said, we're going for 100 coins first. Which means, you know, it's tedious. It is. It, it is really tedious. I don't know. We might be able to do it without flying. Maybe. But there's so many coins in the air. Like, so many. It's a good bit of backup. If you if you if you lose a couple of coins that go, you know mad. 
<laughs> like this one. Come here, Gumba. Down you come. As in down flat, not down on the floor below. <laughs> right. bob -omms. They'll give a coin each as well. Even if they explode on their own. So, no worries with them. They don't do much damage even if they explode by you, so it's, it's not much... Not much to worry about. I think they reappear, but they don't give a coin when you, when they die again. So, you can't just keep... Like farming the same, the same bob bombs, the same enemies. Alright, I do want to get that red coin. This is actually, for first stage, this is actually a pretty tough one to get all the hundred coins on. Or at least I used to think so. I mean, I had a bit of trouble playing through on this Switch version getting the hundred coins on this one. Not because I kept dying, but I just had to keep trying to fly from the island up above um, the floating island. Koopa Troopa, remember you gave us a, re a blue coin when we were here before? I don't know if it didn't seem too significant at the time, so maybe it's, it's not something to remember. But yeah, we're going to get that blue coin off of him now. Give us five coins, you little shit. Don't even run away from me. You're not Koopa the Quick. Not even close. Got them. Why not? Damn it. No, I want to kill this bob -omb. See, I don't see the point in Cooper being there. I guess just to practice. Just to know of what he does for later in the game. For when you actually need him. I don't know. Alright. Let's see if we can do something a sec. I know one of, one of these logs to give you a few hidden sort of coins. And I learnt that from watching a video before starting recording. I didn't even know it was a thing. Here we go. That'll help. A bit less flying to do. I wonder if they all do it. I only saw the one doing it. Yeah, they do! Oh, we could have done this earlier. We probably could have got the 100 coins earlier. Go on, Mario. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> oh, I bet he's dizzy. It's just weird, because if you pound the logs, you don't get the coins. Like, you would think pounding them would be what gives you the coins, wouldn't you? Because that's what they're for, pounding. But no. <laughs> Apparently not. Ooh, come back! Oh, shit. <laughs> come back. Come back, Jack. Oop. He's going to blow up on us. There we go. Hey. Oh, Christ. Why does that box keep going? I thought it would have blown up with the bob -omb. It would have made sense to me. Oh, well. Okay. With the box go. There it is. What can I throw it against? <laughs> Nothing seems to be working. No! Oh, not even the tree worked. Oh, get off. Get off, Mario. Dozy shit. Do you know what? Christ, I need to throw it against the wall. Come on, let's go down. Come on, box. I've had enough. <laughs> We're doing this the hard way. V. Get off! Oh my god, look how fast he's going. Where'd all the other coins go? They just lose a million coins. Oh, I just saw it. Ah, oh, that's, that's bollocks. Alright. I was hoping something like that wouldn't happen. Never mind. It's happened now, so... Screw the life. Life's a bit pointless in this game most of the time. This is where the cannon was. I, I, th I thought there was one. <laughs> did, I, did I get this one? Yeah, okay. Never mind then. Ah, why? <laughs> right, we've got 77 coins. There are, I think, probably about... 10 further up here. Nothing. I was putting that block. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> yeah, this is one of those stages you need to get. Like every coin. We want to try not to miss any, if possible. Or you're going to have a bit of a hard time of it. 
Yeah. If you're anything like me, anyway. Are there any more over here? I don't think there are. No, but there's some health, which we don't need. There's infinite of health in those, by the way. You don't just use them once and they're gone. It's infinite. Right. So. There we go. I did it. Yeah. So we've got 90 coins. That box has still got uh, shit in it. A uh, shit star that we don't need. I meant. <laughs> right. So if we go out of a cannon and avoid the star. You need to go through the middle of every ring to get this star that we're actually meant to be going for. Where's the... Oh, there it is. I was looking for the island. If I can turn enough to... I can't... Okay, oh. let's just get a couple of coins a sec. Yeah. Can we get it? Can we get it? Not quite. So we'll get it with a cannon now. Should be pretty easy to get it with a cannon now. What's going to happen now, just for warning, we're going to collect the coin, the coin star, and we'll probably end up dropped down somewhere on the floor, so we'll have to climb back up again. Well, if it's any consolation, we went through the middle of one of the rings, so we got something out of that one. Okay, we'll go for the cannon. Screw it. Can you see now why... I, I don't like flying or cannons, and this is like the worst of both worlds. <laughs> yeah, got the star. And like I said, down we go. I'll see you back up there. Here we go again. For the millionth time. I don't know where the rings are. There's still two more rings we got to get, so I'm going to go a bit further and try and turn around. Try not to go up or down too much. Right, this should do it. We should be able to get this one. Oh, that was the last one. I thought there was another ring with a coin in the middle still, but nope. For some reason, they put it over down here. Not down here. Well, it might be down here. It is down here. Uh, nowhere near where you collect the coins, which is a godsend for me. I'd rather not have to go back to the, up to the floating island to do it. But there we go. That means two worlds all completely wrapped up. Yeah. So, I guess that's about it <laughs> this has been greeny xi i hope you've enjoyed thank you so much for watching i'll see you again in a bit when we go for world number three see you in a bit folks